Uh, tonight we have a remembrance tree set up. Basically what we what I decided a few years ago was that I look at it this way, when we hang stars on the tree, every one of the people are remembering tonight were stars in our lives. And so what we're doing is remembering those stars and how they shone brightly for us years ago, and they're still shining brightly for us, even during Christmas, however many years it has been. And that's what we want to remember tonight. So enjoy the carol singing and I hope that you find some peace and comfort out of tonight's service. And also thank you to Lisa, who has been a liturgist, to Linda and to Wanda, who have been doing readings, and to Ron who's helping out, and to the men who are going to be singing a piece a little bit later on. We light this candle to remember those persons who have been loved and lost. We pause to remember their names, their faces, their voices. We give thanks for the memory that binds them to us this season that anticipates Christ. May God's eternal love surround them. We light this second candle to redeem the pain and loss. The loss of relationships, the loss of health, the loss of jobs, and the loss of financial security. As we gather up the pain of the past, we offer it to you, O oh God, asking that into our welcoming hearts and open hands you place the gift of peace. Refresh, restore, renew us, O oh God, and lead us into your future. We light this third candle to remember ourselves this Christmas time. We pause and remember the past weeks, months, and for some of us, years of down times. We remember the quantity of memories, the grief, the sadness, the hurt, and the pain of reflecting on our own mortality. Let us remember that the dawn defeats darkness. This fourth candle is lit to remember our faith and the gift of hope that God offers to us in the Christmas story. We remember that God, who shares our life, promises us a place and time of no more pain and suffering. Let us remember the one who shows the way and who goes with us into our tomorrows. We gather this night to remember those who have touched our lives, glad memories and happy stories, and love that we hold dear. We thank those who have been like themselves to us. We gather in the name of Jesus, vulnerable as an infant, joyful and happy as a youth, wise and caring as an adult. We gather in the presence of God, who brings life and life to all. All life is precious in God's sight. No one has ever alone or forgotten. Come, let us gather in the spirit of hope and peace. We worship in the name of the Lord. placed on our tree of remembrance in loving memory of husband, father, and grandfather, Halcom London by Marion and family, husband, Irving Stid by Eva Stid, parents, Maxwell, P. E. and Mavis Skippington by Wallace and Alan Skippington, Aunt Rita, Aunt Edward, Uncle Jack Willis, Bowen, and Aunt Loretta Ash by Paul and Tracy Russell and family. Parents Claude and Elizabeth Parsons and all loved ones by Dave and Brian Parsons. Loved ones by Ron and Ron Matthews. Parents Alpheus and Alma Russell and Joseph and Myrtle Piercy by Gerald and Clara Russell. Husband Marvin Penny and other loved ones by Mary Penny. Mother Ella Thomas, father Mark Donnelly, mother Clarabelle Donnelly, brother Ernest Donnelly and Reverend John Murphy by Gerald and Bernie Thomas. Father and grandfather Oliver Skippington, parents and grandparents Loretta and Ronald Parsons, and sister and aunt Wade Emanuel by Kim and Betty Skippington and family. Casper and Florence Parsons by Ken and Phyllis Parsons. Husband, Harris Knockville by Bella Knockville. Husband, Walter J. L. Perry and loved ones by Rita Perry. 
Parents and Grandparents by Edgar and Gloria Skippington. Loved Ones by Betty Martin. Father-in-Law, Daryl Dees, Grandparents, Loretta and Ronald Parsons, Oliver Skippington, Robert Piddle, and Edith and Hillary Hayes, and other loved ones by Ron and Christy Hayes. Parents Louise and Stuart Keats, and Joyce and Harold Greeny by Patsy and Alvin Greeny. Father and Pop, Cecil Guy by Sherry, Ashley, and Lizzie. Loved Ones by Sadie Lee. David and Toby Greeny, Beulah Lewis by Kelvin and Myra Greeny. Loved Ones by Jeffrey, Andrea, Adam, and Noah Keats. Husband Sam Wagon by Christine Wagon. Dad, Sam Blanken, and friend, Steve Brown, by Jenna Blanken. Son-in-law, Sam Blanken, by Wilford and Stella Button. Loved ones, by Lisa and Claude Chaddy. Husband, Jesse Peddle. Parents, George and Eddie Skippington, and Robert and Myrtle Peddle, by Louise Peddle. Husband and father, Bert Russell, by wife, Eileen and family. Sister Janice Kenny by Jeff and Grace Wheeler. Dudley, Olive, and Levi Matthews by Rob, Robert and Heather Lethbridge. Mother and Father, Nan and Pop, Florence Holloway, and George Sixon by Mike, Jean, Holly, and Mark. We want to in memory of those who gave us work, who nurtured us, offered love, and cherished us. We remember brothers and fathers Grandparents and grandparents, and all our family through the ages.
They rejoice before you according to the joy of harvest, as men rejoice when they divide the spoil. For you have broken the yoke of his burden, and the staff of his shoulder, and the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every warrior's sandal from the noisy battle, and garments royal in blood, will be used for burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and adjustment, adjust, sorry, justice from that time forward, ever forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of the hosts will perform this. A stir of the place on our tree of remembrance and loving memory of grandparents Bardana and Andrew Buck. Margaret and Chesley Holloway by Dr. Randy Holloway. Parents, Alfred and Barbara Saint. Grandparents and Irving Stead by Max and Hazel Saint. <coughs> Casper and Florence Carson by Ken and Phyllis Carson. Ernest Johnny by wife, Joyce, and son, Stephen and Scott and family. Parents, Murdoch and Anthony. Matthew, nieces, Melanie, and Daniel Harris, by Scott and Lennis Campbell. Father Earl, brother Wilfred, nephew Jordan, and other loved ones, by Karen Harris Andrews. Loved ones, by Ron and myself. Parents, Alfred and Barbara Saint, grandparents, James and Hazel Saint, and John and Dorcas Matthew by Toby and Ivy Saint. Father, Bird and Dead, and Grandparents, by Dale and Anthony Griffin. Parents, Elizabeth and Elias Olford, by Bruce and Joanne Manning and family. Loved ones, by Dean, Tracy, Frank, and Maria Holloway. And in memory of Mother Ella, Sister Lorraine, and other loved ones, by Kevin Thomas. We light the candle in memory of those who have been joined to us in the great circle of families. We remember sisters and brothers, aunts, uncles, and cousins, those dear to us and our way.
two weeks before. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, thought you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth unto me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from a hold, from everlasting. Therefore he shall give them up until, up until the time that she who was in labor has given birth. Then the remnant of his brethren shall return unto the children of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall abide, for now shall be great he shall for now shall he be great unto the ends of the earth. There's a prayer and that's found in the bulletin we will say together. Holy One, you are with us in times of trouble and in times of peace, in times of sorrow and times of joy. When we are unsure of how to continue living and loving, your spirit intervenes with sighs too deep for words. Speak for us now, loving God. Comfort us with your abiding peace and help us to share out the good news of your love. Give it to us and all mankind. Thank you. 
18 through 23. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was as follows. After his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Spirit. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not wanting to make her a public example, was minded to put her away secretly. For while he thought about these things, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take to you Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she will bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. So all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the Lord through the prophet, saying, Behold, the virgin shall be with child, and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which is translated, God with us. A star has been placed on our tree of remembrance, in loving memory of Love Once by Rick and Florence Dead, Stuart and Susie Skiffington and Family by Keith and Elizabeth Rousel, Parents Bob and Alma Stead by Blair and Marilyn Patrick, Heber Little and Love Ones by Alonzo and Linda Little, Love Ones by Randy and Carol Brown. Loved Ones by Paul and Tracy Russell and Family. Husband, Harold, and Brother and Sister-in-Laws by Loretta Peddle. Dad, Harold Peddle by Elf and Geneva Greening. Parents, Winnie and Wesley Rousel, and Three Brothers by Barry Rousel. Parents, Ashwell and Mary Jane Reader, and Harvey and Phyllis Philpot by James and Marion Reader. Ellen Ivney by Dorothy. Parents, Ellen Ivney and Thomas and Violet Simmons by Gary and Jocelyn Ivney. Loved Ones by George Harris and Dora Hobbs Harris. Paula Bennett, Don Dampier and Harold and Joyce Greening by Eva Dampier. Parents, William and Annie Ash and Alex and Lizzie Holloway. Sister, Kathy and grandson Maddox by Clara and Barbara Holloway. Loved Ones by Diane and Roy Bunnell. Parents Margaret and Eric Martin and Aunt Vic Martin by Robert and Rexine Martin. Tanya Strong and Graham Butt by Tony and Jody Party. Grandparents Pierce and Gladys Matthews by Lawrence and Donna Penny. Jessica Young Hubert Young and Bonnie Squires by Mike and Ina Young. Parents Claude and Lily Keats, sisters Joyce, Doris and Mavis, brother-in-laws Larry Blunden, Ralph Matthews and Maxwell Skiffington by Cavell White. Parents and grandparents Dalman and Anita Chaffee and Mark Dominey by Joyce Dominey and family. Emily and Benjamin Barber by Roy and Joan Barber. Amy Wiseman, Betty Palmer and Florence and Raymond Humby by Eunice and Calvin Humby. Parents Pearl and Lloyd Hickman, grandparents Pierce and Gladys Matthews and great-grandparents Matthews and Greening by Dean Hickman and Dale Abbott. Parents Alex and Lizzie Holloway and Wilson and Gertie Holloway by Morris and Addie Holloway. Don Lane, George and Una Lane and Glennis Lane by Bonnie Lane. Dear Father Cecil Guy by Marilyn Guy and Larry Stacy. Eric Greening by Fraser and Dale Holloway. Husband Art Goodland and Loved Ones by Nita Goodland. Sylvester and Winifred Matthews by Tom and Francis Bakey. Loved Ones by Angie Thomas and Stu Greenslade. Parents and Other Loved Ones by Jeff and Kathy Muggridge. Loved Ones by Harvey and Leona Greening. Parents Albert and Annie Holloway and Brothers Kirby, Alvin and Bruce Holloway by Patsy and Mark Hiscock. Augustus and Augusta Ruth by Calvin and Myra Green. 
Parents and Loved Ones by Gordon and Evelyn Greening. Loved Ones by Hector and Joan Keats. Loved Ones by Bruce and Lisa Guy and Family. Husband, Father and Grandfather, Fred Greening by Verda and Family. Bert Russell, Rexine Parsons, Hal Blunden and Loved Ones by Christine, Lee and Jenna. Husband, Vern, Other Family Members and Good Friends, Alma and Bob Stead, by Marie Stead. Son-in-Law, Hal Blunden and Loved Ones, by Eileen Russell. Loved Ones, by Christy and Olivia Smith. Mother, Mother-in-Law and Grandmother, Edith Young, by Gordon and Daphne Spurl and Family. Parents, Bob and Alma Stead by David and Cindy Stead. Members of the Penny Family by Robert Penny and Winnie Boone. Dudley Matthews by Woof, Wife Ruth and Family. Parents Gordon and Evelyn Wiseman and Jack and Lydia Fitzgerald by Graeme and Linda Fitzgerald. Marlene and Jack Fitzgerald and Don Little by Ray and Shira Little. Loved Ones by Barbara Barber. Amy Wiseman, Betty Palmer, and Other Loved Ones by Garland and Lois Wiseman. Parents, Frank and Raul de Greening, and Fred and Audrey Vinson. Siblings, Jocelyn, Tony, and John, and Loved Ones by Marvin and Evelyn Greening. Son, Maddox Holloway, and Grandparents by Adam, Samantha, Michael, and Cohen. Trixie Petal by John and Beatrix Crawford. Brother, Sam Blagden, by Anne and Lynn Cheshire. Loved Ones, by Charlotte Brown. Sister-in-law, Grace Holloway, and friends, Craig Moss and Alan Brown, by Robert and Fern Holloway. Great Nanny, Carrie Pitt, by Adeline Carrie Keats. We light the candles in memory of those whom we came to know through the eyes of love. We hold sacred the faces and memories of years past, of those who brighten our days and lit up our lives. We remember our husbands and wives, dearest loves and close friends, who changed our lives. Jesus, Lord.
sister-in-law Rixine Parsons, uncle Gary Fyfield, nephews Sam Blaken and David Percy, and loved ones by Robert and Rixine Martin. Father Oliver Skiddington, and loved ones by Dennis and Valerie Holloway. Loved ones by Jennifer Thomas. Kay Barber and other relatives and friends by Jesse Barber. Husband Cecil Guy and parents Harold and Joyce Green by Roberta Guy. <laughs> Elvin and Edna Wolford by Kelvin and Mara Green. Daughter Cynthia Keene by Francis and Robert Gosman. Loved ones by Gary and Barbara Romaine. Husband George Barber by Barbara Barber. Wife Rick C. Son Sam and deceased relatives and friends by Rex Parsons. Mom Rick C. Parsons by Anne and Glenn Chishaw. Brothers Bruce Skeppington by Wallace and Alan Skeppington. Family and friends by Alan and Linda Parsons. Parents, Wilson and Gertie Holloway, Everett and Delina Grace by Robert and Fern Holloway. Carrie Pitt and all the loved ones by Purcell, Colet, Michaela, Brittany, and Hannah Pitt. We light a candle in memory of those who shared in our lives in many ways, who worked with us and made our lives more enjoyable. We remember our friends today. Sorrow leads, O Bethlehem star, guiding us on to heaven afar. Sorrow and grief are loved by thy light, thou hope of each mortal in death's lonely night. Verses 1 through 4. Let not your heart be troubled. 
You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. Have a prayer together, please. God of hope and joy, you prepare our hearts for renewal. You till the soil of our lives and nurture small shoots of possibility. Even when we are unsure, you will repeat your promise. I will never leave you. Open us, Holy One, to your promise. Hold us to your care. Strengthen us for your future. Guide us in anticipation and faith. Start at the place on our tree of remembrance, loving memory of parents, grandparents, and other family and friends by Barrett and Barbara Freeman. Dad, Bert Russell by Paul, Tracy, and Ben. Loved ones by Anne and Ashville Freeman. Parents, Dalma and Anita Jackie, and Leonard and Marion Paul by Kay and Dave Paul. Loved ones by Lily Little. Sister, Virgo Keen, and nephew, Terry Keen, by Betty Lovers. Larry London by Jean Chapman. Loved ones by Maurice and Adela Bennett. Max, Davis, and Bruce Gibbonson, and other loved ones by Jim and Maureen Gibbonson and family. God and Flash Saint and loved ones by Edward and Pavel Saint. Wife Amy Wiseman and daughter Betty Palmer by Vernon Wiseman. Parents Frank and Sophie Oper and other family and friends by Bruce and Merle Oper and family. Mother and grandmother Edith Young by Kenny and Donna Kenny and family. Shirley, Edwin, and Cecil Templeman by Gerald and Verna Templeman. Maxwell, Eliza, and Kenny Skippington by Derek and Benita Skippington. Skippington family and loved ones by Georgina Wise. Frank and Roland Freeney and Albert and Bess Prince by Gerald and Suzette Chapman. Parents, Asna and Murdoch Matthews by Eva and Melvin Harris. Parents, Wilson and Bertie Holloway by Clarence and Mildred Holloway. Eric and Rita Gulliford and Geraldine and Fayle by Eric Gulliford. Loved ones by Mavis Godfrey and family. Father and mother-in-law, Chesney and Elsie Green, and brother, Tobes, by Debbie Green. Roy and Rhoda Green, and Eric and Brenda Green, by Fraser, Donna, Crystal, Megan, Allie, and Ben. Parents, Myrna and Ashton Matthews, nieces, Melody, and Daniel Harris, by Scott and Glenn Campbell. Parents, Rex, and Winifred Saint by Doreen, Matt, and Sean Stroud. Frank, Sophie Holford, and Austin, and Eric Norris, by Jean Norris. Parents, and other loved ones, by Jeff and Captain Bogdich. Husband, Bruce, and the Vincent family, by Lavina Nemo. Harriet College, by Nadine Butcher. Parents and loved ones by Gordon and Evelyn Green. Parents James and Stephanie Barber and Lena 
who longs for peace and justice, who longs for friendship and healing, and we especially remember all of those lives changed and lost as we live through the devastating effects of the COVID-19 pandemic. We remember your people of every time and place. to get us on the way 
a little note or a joke to brighten up our day. Friendships form the silken bonds that strengthen over time. They become a special part we cherish past our prime. Others stay for just a while until their work's complete. They slip away without a fuss to the background they retreat. Some will touch our core and soul. Such impact will they make when they leave to move on a piece of our heart they take. We leave one candle on it, mindful of the great truth of this light, that in the fullness of time, we too will join our loved ones in a realm without sorrow and pain in the company of unending love. Verses 1 through 4 and 18 and 19. Let not, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you may be also. And where I go, you know, and the way you know. I will not leave you orphans, I will come to you. A little while longer, and the world will see me no more, but you will see me, because I live, you will live also. A star has been placed on our tree of remembrance, in loving memory of husband Earl, son Wilfred, grandson Jordan, and other loved ones by Joyce Perry. Parents, Lyde and Ella Greeny, and Malcolm and Florence Noseworthy by Morris and Wynetta Greening. Loved Ones by Bruce and Jean Greening. Loved Ones by Elvin and Iffy Skiffington. Cal and Irene Holloway by Bryce and Val Holloway. Elvin and Winnie Holloway and Beth Holloway by Rosalind DeHolos. Sister Janice Penny by Donna Whalen. Shirley, Edwin and Cecil Templeman by Gerald and Vernon Templeman. Mother, Hilda Ivany, stepfather Maurice Ivany, sister Mary Perry, and loved ones by Nancy Avery. Parents Asina and Murdick Matthews, and Agnes and Chisley Wiseman, and brother Marvin Wiseman by Gary and Cindy Matthews. Loved ones by Lee and Judy Holloway. Loved ones by Joyce and Walter Day. Wife Barbara, and son Edward Teddy by Donald Blackmore. Aunt Helda Brown by Hubert and Deirdre Lodge. Aunt Helda Brown by Daryl and Lorinda Lambert and family. John and Marjorie Parsons by Sean and Laurie Parsons. Loved ones by Jesse LeBlanc Skiffington. Uncle Lar and Aunt Joyce Blunden. Uncle Ralph and Aunt Doris Matthews. And Uncle Jack and Aunt Jesse Keats by Wallace Skiffington. Mother and father, Nan and Pop, Lila and Raymond Butt, and brother James Butt by Mike, Jean, Holly, and Mark. <laughs> 